Hey guys, it's Erica here from Big Cat Creative, and today I'm going to show you how to create a simple testimonial slider in Squarespace 7.0. This actually works in both Squarespace 7.0 and 7.1, but Squarespace 7.1 has actually brought out a new way of creating testimonial sliders or carousels, which I think is a much better method than what we're going to do now. If you are using Squarespace 7.1, I would recommend checking out that tutorial instead. I will create a video on that method as well and I will link it below. So for all my Squarespace 7.0 users, let's get started. Okay, so I'm here in Squarespace 7.0 and the first thing I'm gonna do is click on pages and I'm going to add a new page into my not linked section. So click on the plus icon and we're going to add a blog. This blog is going to be just for our testimonial content. I'm going to call it testimonials. And it generally isn't going to be a front facing blog. Really, we're just putting content inside this blog so that we can filter it out to other areas of the site in that nice carousel slideshow function. But you can make it front facing if you want to. If you do want to have a page with all of your testimonials on it in sort of a blog format, then you totally can make it into its own page. But you can also keep it hidden and just use it to filter out that content throughout other pages. It's really up to you. Of course, if you want to make it a front facing page and you actually want people to see it, then it might take a little bit more design and effort to make it look good. I'm just going to show you the real basics today to get that slider working on other pages. So once you've added that testimonials blog, click on the plus to add a new blog post and you're going to enter in your blog post title. The title of this really depends if you're going to have a public page or if you're going to keep it hidden. If you're going to keep it hidden, the title is really just for your own reference to see what this testimonial is. So I might write something like testimonial, Michelle Smith or something, just so I can actually remember what that testimonial is, who it's from. If you are creating a front facing page, you could write something else more detailed for a title for this testimonial. For the actual testimonial, we're going to come into options and we're going to put it in the excerpt section. This is the part that's actually going to filter out through those other pages. So we need to add it to the excerpt pages. If you are planning on having a public page, you could also put it into the content and this is actually going to be the page that people see. But if you aren't planning to make it a public page and you're just using it for content, just pop it in the excerpt. So this is my testimonial. I'm going to put some little quotes around it. And you can also add some different formatting if you want to. So you can see right now when I highlight the text, this text editing toolbar shows up. If I click on P2, it's going to give me lots of different options for headings. So heading one, heading two, heading three, and medium paragraph, which is basically just your regular body text. So you could add a heading here. I could say Michelle Smith photography and add a heading of heading two. And then maybe underneath I could write michellesmith.com and change that to heading three. You can add some limited formatting within this box. It is hard to see what it will look like right now because it's obviously not showing us our true heading two and heading three, but you'll be able to see soon what that does look like. I'm going to click save and publish and I'll show you what this looks like on the blog. We have our blog here, which is called testimonials and we have our blog post. So this is the excerpt that we just added with the title and the little link at the bottom. If you click into this, it's just working like a regular blog. So we have our title. And then of course, if we had added any content, any blog content, it would show up here. I'm not going to add any because I don't actually want people to visit this page at all just so I can get our carousel actually scrolling, I'm going to add more than one testimonial. So let me just add another one. So click on the plus. Add the title. Under options, I'm going to add the excerpt again with some quotes. The website, I'm going to 
change to heading three and then I'm also going to add a little title make that heading two and I'm going to save and publish now essentially I have another testimonial which is another blog post let's go back into pages and we've got our testimonials here I want to add the testimonial carousel to my home page I'm going to click on home and I'm going to click edit on the page I'm going to click the plus icon and I'm going to add a summary block search for summary where it says select a page we're going to choose testimonials so this is the testimonials blog we just added and now you can see that those two testimonials are pulling into this summary block for primary metadata, I'm actually going to change this to none, so it removes the date. I'm going to leave secondary metadata at none also. For filter items, I'm just going to leave this for now, but you can actually use categories and tags within your blog posts and then filter out what you want to show. If you do have a lot of different testimonials and you have different categories or services for those testimonials, it might be worth adding different categories so then on different pages you could filter out specific categories of your testimonials. Otherwise, just ignore that for now. And then click on design and we're going to change the design to carousel. And I'm going to change the number of items all the way up to 30. So it will show up to 30 testimonials. And then I'm going to change the items per row to one. I'm going to leave the aspect ratio because that is for an image and we don't have any images in this. I'm going to leave the text size as is, but I'll change the text to center aligned. Where it says header text, it always comes with this text that says featured. I'm not really sure why, but I pretty much just always remove that because we don't need that there. I'm going to remove the title, which is the testimonial Katie Baker. I'm going to turn off thumbnail, even though we don't have a thumbnail anyway. So that would be the blog post image thumbnail. And then leave excerpt on. So excerpt is that part that we put in. This is our whole excerpt here. Now, if you do want this to be clickable and you want people to be able to actually go visit that blog, you can put a read more link and it's going to take people to that testimonials blog that we set up. But if you just want the carousel and you don't want people on that blog, just keep that read more link off. Okay, and now we'll click out of that. And that is basically our testimonial carousel done. Now you can move this around just like a regular block. You can move it anywhere depending on your design. And if you do want to bring it in, you can add a couple of spacers to either side just to bring it in a little bit if it's looking a little bit big. I'm going to click save on that section. And you'll see now that I, when I click this arrow, it's going to rotate through the different testimonials. If you do want to just use the testimonial carousel and not have anyone actually visit this page, you are pretty much done. All you need to do is continue to add your testimonials as you want to within this blog post. If you do want people to visit this page and read the full testimonials, I would recommend obviously adding body content to your blog posts. You could add images if you wanted to. You could add some introductory text to this testimonials intro section, and you could really make it a nice blog page for just testimonials. Of course, as well, if you really want people to see it, you could drag it up into your main navigation here, your primary navigation, and that's going to bring it up here into the main menu. But if you don't want it to be seen, bring it down to your not linked section. Okay, so that is how you create a simple testimonial carousel with the blog on Squarespace 7.0. Now, like I said at the beginning, you can actually do this exact same method in Squarespace 7.1 too, but they have created actually a better method, I think, in Squarespace 7.1. I'll create a video on that and link it below. If it's not there yet, it will be there shortly, and I'll show you how the new method works in Squarespace 7.1. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.